scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Daniel chapter 6. I sense that there is a strong anointing tonight from verse 24. The Lord is going to be bringing a massive deliverance. In this place let me tell you what deliverance is deliverance is a spiritual system by which the saints are separated listen carefully are separated from the obstacles it doesn't always have to be spirits there can be mountains that stand before you the separation between you and any source of impedance whatever it is that sustains the ability to impede your progress in life and in destiny that art of separation is called deliverance are we together daniel chapter 6 please give it to us verse 24 this was these were the three hebrew boys now cast into fire and the king darius now commanded and they brought those men which had accused Daniel and they cast them into the den of lions and their children and their wives okay this was the, the story of Daniel now in the lions den and the lions had mastery of them you discern what that means and break their bones in pieces or ever they came at the at the at the bottom of the den uh -huh, next verse and the king wrote to all people, nations, languages that dwell in all the earth. A decree is about to be passed. Peace be multiplied unto you. It says, I make a decree that in every dominion of my kingdom, men tremble and fear before the God of Daniel. Why? For he is a living God and steadfast forever and his kingdom that which shall not be destroyed and his dominion shall be even unto the end 27 this is why he is called that god only savior he is deliverer he can bring you and pull you out of trouble that people have looked at your life and your family can anything good come out of these people can anything good come out of this one that one and god says i am a deliverer I can come and snatch you from from the jaws of the lion listen I truly believe in the power of God to deliver there is a relationship between a separation between you and your obstacles and your prosperity he says I desire to come to you again even I Paul once and again but Satan hindered us favor desiring to come to you lifting desiring to come to you satan can hinder things hallelujah there are people here under the sound of my voice and following from across the globe the truth is that based on the gifting that god has put in your life the nation should be celebrating you you should not be at this level but there are powers that sit upon men's destinies please give me zechariah chapter 1 and verse 18 we're about to pray 
Zechariah 1.18. Please pay attention. Connect those outside the overflows following online. Zechariah 1 and verse 18. Then lifted I up my eyes and saw and behold, what did I see? Four horns. A horn is a symbol of authority. Verse 19. He says, and I said unto the angel that talked with me, what be these? And he answered me, these are the horns that have scattered Judah, my praise, scattered Israel, my covenant, scattered Jerusalem, my peace. There are horns that fight your praise. There are horns that fight your promise. There are horns that fight your peace. But the Bible says, and the Lord of peace himself shall give you peace always by all means. Next verse. Still on Zechariah chapter 1 and verse 20. And the Lord showed me four carpenters. Aha. It's never too late for a carpenter. Never too late for a carpenter. You can change the wood. You can redesign everything. It says, what come this to do? He's still talking about the horns. And he spake saying, these are the horns which have scattered Judah. Read with me. So that no man did lift up his head. Oh, it can peg your father. He is unable to rise. Even though he went to school. Even though he went to US. This power sits on people's destinies. Listen. Let me teach you something about scripture. There is what people like E.W. Kenyon will call the legal side of redemption and the vital side of redemption. Here's how I put it. The prophetic dimension of the speakings of God versus their experiential manifestation. In God's mind, everything is finished, including the death of Jesus before it happened because he appropriated in the life of believers. In God's mind, no believer should be poor. Are there poor believers? In God's mind, no believer should be sick. Are there sick believers? What makes you think there are no oppressed believers? The oppression does not negate the finished work of Christ. It, as powerful as God is and Jesus is, he did not cast sin out of man. He didn't say the cross, the grave, and trust what defeated sin. So to merely sit down and just assume that everything is all right is the same mistake as someone who hears the gospel and just believes that just because Jesus died, he's automatically saved. He's not automatically saved. The substitutionary sacrifice of Jesus is a reality. Yet till today, there are people going to hell. What is their offense? Their offense is that they have not believed and appropriated that truth into their lives. It is so for salvation. It is so. God of miracles has won my battles for me. I'm a winner man. I'm a winner man. He has won my battles for me. I'm a winner man. I'm a winner man. He has won my battles for me. Can I tell you something? Listen to me. For many years in my life, even as a man of God, demon spirits were oppressing me. Not many people would tell you this truth. I'm not saying it to discourage you and I'm not demeaning the power of Jesus. We stand today by that same power. And because of my prophetic inclination, I would see spirits literally enter my room. I shouted Jesus in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Nothing happened. Because the name is not a charm. It works by understanding. Did the sons of Skiva not mention the same name? Did the demons go? What did they do to the man? They even said, Jesus I know. Paul I know. I see their understanding supporting what they are doing. Where is your own understanding? There are many believers under all kinds of oppression, stagnated and not manifesting to their fullness of their destinies in Christ. Why? Because they just assume that everything is gone why then do you go to the hospital why do you visit the pharmacy for drugs even though you believe eternal life is at work in you hmm. 
if someone is sick now and you pray in the name of Jesus and nothing seems to happen you can honorably take the person to a pharmacy to midwife his health while he's learning the laws of divine health is that true it does not mean you don't believe in divine health but hospital and drugs are God's systems of mercy to midwife our longevity and our health while we are learning God himself knows that it's a process I'm a winner man a winner man yes one my battle for me listen let me tell you the day my deliverance came I found a scripture and light came like an arrow from heaven and entered me when that light entered me I ran I stood in front of my room then and I shouted I pleaded with the spirits that used to oppress me I begged them to return till tomorrow they have not returned listen when we minister like this number one we are not being boastful number two we are not negating what Christ has done the administration of his power is our participatory role in actualizing his finished work in and to our lives this is what the Bible calls faith the name of the action you take based on your conviction on who God is and the integrity of his person it is always by grace but it is through faith grace is the name given to everything that is in God released to man only through the office of the Christ that's what we call grace mercy is grace power is grace wisdom is grace grace is not unmerited favor that's just one dimension of it grace is a generic name given to the storehouse that contains everything that makes God God is called grace but the system of access and delivery is what we must learn help that person please help that lady under the anointing believers we must trust God to mature in doctrine so that we do not become victims help her there is a mighty deliverance that is happening to her there because the Bible says now the Lord is that spirit so understand there are many spirits but this one is that spirit the Lord the Lord is that spirit and where the Lord is you know he signs that signature by giving men liberty so that a door that has been closed for 90 years your grandfather tried to open till he died there your father tried to open till he uh, it we are not going to open it we will break it into pieces so that your children too can pass do you know why nathaniel said to jesus can anything good come out of nazareth he was not lying there was an antecedent that there was a track record there are regions where men only rise by eating from others they never become established no matter how educated there are regions where it's the women that feed the men the husband is the wife and the wife is the husband hard-working diligent people how about people where doors are open for you just when you are seeing it to pick it who's seen that this man was born blind that means there was something Jesus taught them immediately they saw this a good student said Jesus you've taught us something but who sinned? was it this man or his father he said neither but that the glory of the Lord be revealed can I tell you this this night I want you to be angry and make up your mind we have a few minutes tonight we are going to trust God to have a convocation within this place to walk from person to person and bring to end everything that will not bow to the name of the Lord listen can I tell you this I remember many years ago this was in Zaria we we're about to pray a precious man of God came to meet me and as soon as he entered my room I saw a spirit behind him I was just watching and he was telling me some of the ordeals around his life and ministry sincere well-meaning godly person I kept quiet and then I told him I said sir can I pray for you I think there is an oppression ah he shot me down immediately no 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 don't talk to me about oppression I said okay I'm sorry I hope I don't offend you but if you will allow me pray for ah I just want you to agree with me I said no problem 
let's do the agreement when i held his hand he only got up after how many minutes the kind of deliverance that happened to him see it did not take one week it's like the doors were just opening like this do you know that guy returned back and said apostle what happened upon mount zion listen where does the deliverance happen where does the deliverance happen go to the book of hebrews what is in mount zion the church of the firstborn innumerable rock company of angels that's why deliverance happens zion is the appropriate way for place for deliverance to happen if it does not happen upon mount zion where else does it happen there shall be deliverance and then holiness then the sons of jacob shall possess it will never enter your hand till the resistance have been cleared away i can tell you this hear me there are men of god do you know even over this city there are controlling powers when god sent me to this city i took out quality time signing that spiritual register shakatoske branda katoske lebahashia manta predisit here let me tell you this help them i tell you the truth and forgive me if it sounds like i'm just bragging you can be in a city yet spiritually you are outside that city because the gate is still closed over you you do business in that city you will lose you do whatever in that city you will lose because the two leaf gates have not been parted are you ready to pray I once prayed for a woman who had a school and all of a sudden mysteriously wonderful woman people started picking their children away from the school what did she do it was not that okay they got some new teachers and i called her i said madam continue your pathway of principles and excellence but let's deal with this there are spiritual things to be dealt with i prayed for that woman i anointed her the biblical pathway not some of these superstitious things that people do there is an angle to deliverance that is not consistent with doctrine it may not mean that the, those who are administering it are bad they are just inaccurate as far as the administration of the power of god is concerned there is a way we administer the power of god that is consistent with doctrine she went back and fire breakthroughs everywhere let me tell you this if there is anything I know that produces instant results is true deliverance when the impedance leaves your life you will be surprised some of you can be seated here while in church and a call just comes this was the call you've been waiting for for five years you don't know that there are spirits in the airways that shut the ears and the attention of destiny help us do you believe what I'm sharing with you because from here now we are going to pray and I'll begin to minister. I'm going to take quality time to minister deliverance this night. And then we are going to pray for the sick. We'll speak over your prayer request. This is the sixth month. The sixth month. There has to be an evidence. Someone promised to help you and lift you. And like the wine presser, the moment they get out of prison they forget you and their forgetfulness adds two years to your pain i don't know about you if you are all right your children are all right you are already enjoying everything pray for us but as for me and my house make up your mind that father there must be an evidence of your favor your grace but before then hear me there are families that are connected i know what i'm seeing as i'm speaking here so i want your heart to be open as we pray no distraction focus on jesus and let's deal with some of these issues hallelujah one prayer point 
and then i'll begin to minister by the spirit please let your heart be open please rise up on your feet please rise up on your feet and we're going to pray you're going to decree and declare that on account of the finished work of christ everything connected to ancestry connected to bloodlines foundations by the power that raised christ from the dead he must let you go now lift your voice and begin to pray are you praying please pray blotting out every handwriting and every ordinance that spoke against us he nailed it to his cross lift your voice and pray are you praying? Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we declare victory. It's time for everything that is not the planting of God to give way. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto me. Everything that was stolen shall be restored unto me. Say, everything that was lost shall be returned unto me. Everything that was stolen shall be restored unto me. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto me. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Now, please listen to me. We have a few minutes and we are going to be very, very fast. But I want you to open up your heart and let the power of God bring you deliverance tonight. We're going to pray for the sick and we're going to celebrate the walking power of Jesus Christ in this place. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. I'm ready to pray. I see a wind blowing over this place. Listen, the Lord wants to rebuke the spirit of delay. I want you to bring them out. These are the first sets of people we are going to pray over. At the count of three, I want you to shout, Jesus, Father, you have brought us here by your spirit. Please bring them out. In the name that is above all names, everyone who is under the yoke and the influence of delay, I come by the rod of a higher priesthood. In the name of Jesus, that yoke and that spirit be broken. At the count of three, you will shout, Jesus, one, two, Three, I command that devil out of their lives now. Release their destinies now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Bring them out. By the power that's in the name of Jesus Christ. The spirit of delay over individuals, over families. I come against you now. By the power of the Holy Ghost, I come against you now. By the power of the Holy Ghost, bring them out. The Lord is opening my eyes, and I'm seeing chains, chains around the feet of people. It's held people for years. You are trying to move, and it looks like something is bringing you down. Right now, fire is coming from heaven. That every chain, in the name of Jesus, chains be broken now. Be 
broken now, be broken now, be broken now. All the overflow outside, following online, they shall be broken in the name of Jesus. Was he praying? Who is Deborah? I'm hearing the name Deborah. They call you Deborah. Deborah or Deborah, Deborah. There's someone with that name. Just very quickly, I want to speak to you. Deborah. You have a name, Deborah. Who is that person? Let me pray for you. Hiya, hiya, Aquaibom. Who is from Aquaibom? Deborah. You are from Aquaibom. Come, I want to pray for you. Please don't come out at random. Don't worry, we are praying. That every planting that is not of God. Can I pray for you? The Lord is bringing deliverance. There is someone, the Lord is opening my eyes. You are holding three photos on your hand, pictures. Three, three, one, two, three. Please come. Please come. Three photos, you are holding them on your hand. Whether you are here or any of the overflows, if you can find that person while I pray for these people. Please don't come out at random. Please. There is a lot we are going to do. In the name that is above all names, I pray for you. Please stand up. I decree and I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit that everything that is not a planting of God, I curse it now. Now, let it live your life. In the name of Jesus, who is the Son of the living God. Now, for all of you who have come out here, may not have the time to speak to everybody. One of you, the power of God is coming on you now with a loud shout. in the name of jesus i stretch my hands towards you everything that is not a planting of god may fire from heaven rest upon it now rest upon it now rest upon it now rest upon it now in the name of jesus be delivered right now be delivered right now in the name of Jesus, for all of you who are standing, I stretch my hands and I declare the plague of sickness, sickness, recurrent sickness, recurrent sickness. This is what I'm saying. Recurrent sickness coming again, you treat it, coming again, you treat it. I speak and I come by the rod of a higher priesthood. I command that devil out of your life now, out of your destiny in the name of Jesus. Let there be a miracle right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. That lady. I cast that devil out of her now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Those of you who are standing, please return back to your seats rejoicing. Where is... I don't know if you've gotten the woman. I'm seeing in my vision a fair woman. You are holding three photos. Is there someone like that here? I'm a winner man. 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 Madam, stretch your hands. Lift. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Out of her now. In the name of Jesus, never returns to you. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God, let there be liberty for you. 
Who is James? James. James. I'm hearing a name, James. What is the name of your husband? Give her the mic. Come, stand here. I'm a winner, man. A winner, man. Where is he, my dear? He's in outside. He's outside. He's uh, outside with me. But I want to pray. A miracle is coming for your family. I'm telling you, God is about to turn things around. There is a James outside. You are wearing a white like a kaftan. White. White and white. I want to speak to that person. Is there someone like... Not, not just this one. This not... Is there someone like that? You are not in this auditorium. What's your name, sir? Come and stand here. What do you do? Huh? I said you are wearing white and white. I'm looking at you. And I'm seeing you sitting down on a sewing machine. What do you do? I'm a tailorist, sir. Please don't come out at random. Let's, let's fear God. There's, there's order in the house of God. Please, if we don't call your case and you come, we'll politely drive you back to your seat. Please, there is order in the house of God. Praise the name of the Lord. You believe in the power of the Holy Spirit? I want to pray for you. Madam, I know your husband is following. Don't worry, husband. You don't have to come. Just stand in faith. I pray for you. Please look at me. The month of August is a strange month of breakthrough for your family. I stretch my hands and in the name of Jesus, I declare it so. By the power of the Holy Spirit. There are two people at the back. The power of God is coming on them with a loud shout. Please pick them and bring them out. Two people at the back. I just saw light leaving this place. Right to the back. Please bring them. My dear, I curse everything connected to witchcraft and ancestry. What do you do? Huh? I'm an Are you a businessman? Yes, sir. What, yes, do you, sir. what do you do? I was actually doing Uber. But I'm, I'm into rice supply right now. I want to pray for you. Will you believe if I tell you by the end of this year, you'll be a multi-millionaire? Amen! You believe it? Listen. When, when we prophesy, this is not the marketing of flesh. We are kingdom-driven people. And everything we do is for his glory. My brother, there is an anointing that lifts. There is a grace that blesses. Stand up, come. The Lord is asking me to pray for you. I'm not saying you should come up. Just stand here. I want to pray for you. Where is your mother? She's in the village, sir. Do you know why God is raising you? No, sir. Because your mother loves God and she has been praying. And God is going to use you as a consolation, particularly for the prayer of your mother. I stretch my hands. The grace that makes for favor. Take that grace now. Take that grace. In the name of Jesus, go and prosper. You will never be the same. In the name of Jesus, you will command favor in strange ways by the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. For all of you who are out here, by the power of the Holy Spirit, I decree and declare. We are still praying. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God. Let there be healing for you now. Healing for you now. I'm seeing a strange vision. Please bring them out now. I'm just seeing snakes all over this place. This is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing snakes. I stand by the God of heaven. And everything that represents an orchestration of darkness. Not just in front. Even across the congregation. I stretch my hands. Let there be liberty from any spirit that is not of God. Any fraternity with spirit beings. Please bring them out. I curse those spirits right now. I curse those spirits right now. I curse those spirits right now. I curse those tabakatabakatoks. Embrakatakatokatabrakataba. I curse those spirits right now. Hallelujah. Who is Jane? Jane. Like J A N E. I'm hearing a name, Jane. We may not have all the time to speak to people one on one. Jane, is there someone like that? Who is Gift? 
gift g-i-f-t is there someone like that gift let hope let it rise darkness trembles in your own delight hey, let hope let it rise hallelujah we are going to pray the Lord is showing me someone your mother your mother is in the hospital right now i'm seeing this is sickness is she's been so i don't know what it is but i don't know if she's paralyzed she's in the hospital lying down in sick bed who is that person please don't come out at random please my my dear look at me what's your name huh what's your name don't cry don't cry don't cry madam what's your name okay i want to pray for you father i stretch my hands over these ones my god i'm just seeing fire leaving my hand i'm just coming to rest on some of you right now in the name of jesus i stretch my hands by the power that raised christ from the dead let there be liberty right now liberty right now liberty right now in the name of jesus christ liberty right now i cause the workings of darkness this is koinonia the house of god i declare liberty right now by the power that raised christ from the dead in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus help them please hallelujah Ah, wow this is serious um please don't be embarrassed you don't have to come out i'm seeing a woman you have been pregnant this is way past nine months it's like this pregnancy is just continuous but you will not give birth who is that person this is a very strange situation god is showing me every sign of pregnancy but it's like indefinite pregnancy you understand what i'm saying is there someone like that in the name of jesus please pray hallelujah 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 why is she here why are you here you are pregnant there's no pregnancy there now pregnant physically not spiritually preg physically pregnant more than nine months how many years how many years one year five months come and stand here how many years one year nine months how many years give her the mic this one i'm seeing one year nine months written on her stand up this is demonic how can a human hold on please madam it's all right it's all right how can a person hold pregnancy for one year nine months i'm a winner man a winner man he has won my battle for me i'm a winner man I'm a winner man I'm a winner man A winner man My dear Hold on Look at me, look at me Let's save time man, stand up Let me just minister to you Please be patient this night and let God give us a visitation. You are married? This is my third pregnancy. I saw you in my dream. Hold on, madam. Don't worry. It's all right. You are, that, um, God has answered your prayer. We are going to pray. Huh? Look at this. Look at me. I curse that spirit. According 
to God's design for us, there are doctors here. Women. Is it not nine months? It's elephants that carry children for over two years or so. Not human beings. This is witchcraft. Everything you have been carrying spiritually that you should give back to. Business ideas, visions. Every power stopping your delivery. I command it to clear the way now. Clear the way now. Have the fleet. Clear the way now. 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 As soon as Zion travails, the Bible says, she shall put forth a son. Madam, let this woman stand up. Let me pray for her. Help her. Just help her. Madam, you're married. I lost my husband for my, uh, last year. He was poisoned. And since then, I've been carrying pregnancy for the past one year, nine months. Even if I go to the hospital, it's not my first pregnancy. Look at this. You are seeing a pregnant woman. This is a pregnant and you go to the hospital he said they did not see anything <laughs> stretch your hands pray for this woman like you are praying for your blood <laughs> Satan take your hands from this woman in the name of jesus we command every demonic hindrance give way now you have taken all the pain you have taken all the shame you have taken all disappointments you have taken all the words You have made them yours You have taken all my pain You have taken all my shame You have taken all my sorrow You have taken all the weakness You have made them yours Listen, if this is a genuine pregnancy, then we declare according to the time of life. May you go and give birth to healthy children that you will come and stand before God's people and testify. You are her sister or daughter? Who is this? Your sister. Oh dear. Don't cry. Weep not for the book is open. The lion of the tribe of Judah has prevailed madam i stretch my hands and i pray for you now in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god let there be a miracle for you right now my sister in the name of jesus christ according to the time of life go and give birth in jesus name for all of you who are out i don't know why you are out but i declare by the spirit of the living god every issue of concern it comes under judgment now. I'm hearing the name Asabe. A-S-A-B-E. It's like that's somebody's name. Is there someone like that? I want to pray. Who is that? Who has? Ha. We give you worship. Worship. The highest praise to the king. You're welcome madam can i pray for you i want to pray for you my goodness the lord is bringing a miracle we're going to pray for the sick shortly but i'm seeing the power of god touching you your body in the name of jesus christ i stretch my hands and i decree and declare by the power that raised christ from the dead everything that is not a planting of god roaming around your body we command an exodus of it out of your body now in the name of jesus number two madam the lord is saying i should prophesy to you the month of july 
call it your month of restoration the lord is restoring many things to your life restoring many things to your life i declare it so in the name of jesus christ there is someone here we're going to pray but i'm seeing someone your father is a military officer the lord is asking me to pray for the person right now a military officer i want to pray and rebuke the spirit of death people are following on air no telling lies no telling lies we're praying for everybody if your father biological father is not a military officer please stay back make sure that you don't just come out at random we're praying now praise the name of the lord you just come and stand quickly and let's pray please don't be tired god is visiting people ah i just saw light there is a grace for speed people are going to begin to run right now just hold them and bring them out i release that grace for speed bring them out there is a strength grace for speed that is coming on people now politicians businessmen men and women of god take that grace now take that grace now take that anointing now please bring them out strength grace for speed that is coming upon you some of you in the next one month within one month within one month things will begin to shift in your life we am prophesying by the spirit within one month within one month the delay of years within one month speed speed to your life Help them please speed to your life i'm still praying it i'm still seeing that grace rest on people you will marvel and wonder at what begins to happen in your life supernatural speed hallelujah there is a man of god here oh dear you have been praying don't come out the power of god will come on you you have been desiring a strange grace for signs and wonders and the prophetic you are on this road this road the power of god will touch other people but the person i'm talking about is on this road this road at the back bring the person there is a grace for signs and wonders as is happening to one as many as desire in the name of Jesus, may that mantle rest upon your ministry, upon your life. Grace is coming upon you. Signs, wonders. I'm telling you, you will be surprised at what God will do in your life. Grace, you will command signs and wonders in business, in ministry. May the good hand of God come upon you. Hallelujah. any military officer here that the spirit of death is looking for their family I stand by the God of heaven in the name of Jesus Christ anyone's father who is a military officer in the name of Jesus you will not die in battle I declare supernatural preservation by the power of the Holy Spirit preserved by the good hand of God in the name of Jesus Christ preserved by the hand of God in the name of Jesus Christ your brother has been missing for two years not has been missing two years two years who is that that's your number one prayer request come and stand here stand up please my dear just minimize crying when you come so that we attend to you. God has located you. Praise the name of the Lord. Please don't cry. Look at me, my dear. Your brother. What's his name? Benjamin. How many years? 35. 35. Huh. How many years has he been missing? Two years. How about you? What's the name of your brother? Nandom. 
He's been missing. Yes, sir. And my sister? Fejiro, he has been missing for two days. What's his name? Fejiro. Uh, what does he do? He just graduated. So, um, what was he doing? He was just doing some jobs. All of a sudden, he just went away. I'm listening. Well, well, on live TV, there are some things that is wise to just keep quiet. But you see, we have to pray for our relatives. Because sometimes, this deception that people bring, let's help you get to this country, you will get a job. You understand what I'm saying? And this is what is happening to him. But in the name of Jesus, the spirit that is making him misbehave, he's still alive. Come back home now. Can I tell you this? There is no country that has an advantage by default. If the Lord does not go with you, every nation has a bridge and there are people living under it. So just because it's US or UK or Asia does not mean automatically. Now I know that many of them have leadership structures that easily allow people to prosper. But I'm telling you, except God holds a man's hand and helps you in this life, you can travel all you can and return back to your yesterday. My sister, where are you from? I want to pray for you. This prayer is not just for your brother. Let me start with you first. Huh? Shame and reproach. In the name of Jesus, I command it to leave you. The spirit that is part of shame and reproach, release her now. In the name of Jesus Christ. My friend, what do you do? I'm a real estate agent, sir. You're a real estate agent? Yes, sir. Do your real estate. Yes, sir. But start preparing for ministry. Hmm? Look at me. The call of God was upon your life before real estate. You know that, right? God showed you in dreams that yes, you will sir. do evangelism. Yes, You've sir. seen yourself go to your village. Yes, sir. You are from my place now? Yes, sir. Yes, Prepare. Sir. God yes, is sir. calling you. Do your real estate but then at the same time don't run away from the call of god the call of god is not a cause many of us run away because we think you will not eat so we run away as though god just calls people to rubbish their life he calls us into a life of honor are we together now my friend don't cry i pray that god will help you in your real estate but i also pray that you will answer the call and that god will equip you and he will use you mightily for all our loved ones who are missing, be found in Jesus' name. Yeah. Hallelujah. This will be the first time I will be making any public statement about a territory and about this territory since God brought us here. I'm not one person who comes out and says, you know, prophecies and all of that. No, I love the Lord. Whatever we see, we pray. But listen, I'm saying it openly. Pray for Abuja. I will just leave it there. We must pray that God will frustrate the counsel of darkness. In the name of Jesus Christ. That the sound of mourning and the sound of death by the appearance of evil men that God will stay we must fortify the spiritual borders of this territory through prayer and intercession and declare that God will expose and destroy everything that does not constitute the counsel of God are we together now don't say what I did not say pray but you see, God has granted us grace and he has put a burden even for the territory. I'm not one person who just comes to speak negative. But if you hear me say this, please pray in the name of Jesus that there will not be a resurgence of bombings and a resurgence of strange kidnapping, not of ordinary people, but of political figures within the place. This is the devil and in the name of Jesus, 
we don't celebrate negative things coming to pass we superimpose it by the power that raised christ from the dead in one minute pray for this region and pray for your region don't say it does not concern me please lift your voice and pray we administer priesthood over the earth city. We declare in the name of Jesus as sons and daughters of light, kings and priests. We declare thus far have you come, no further shall you go. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Fast. I want you to agree two things in one have you written your prayer request now this is what i want you to do very quickly please just pass it to pass it nobody's reading it so you just feel free pass it to the last person by maybe the left or the right aisle whichever those please all the overflows let's do same outside if you're following from any nation you can send it to our social media platforms it's time for us to pray we're going to pray for the sick as well as collect the prayer requests right now. Praise the name of the Lord. How many of us are trusting the Lord to touch us or touch our loved ones? We believe in miracles. We'll take 10 minutes to make this happen very quickly. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. As we worship in your presence, there is healing. The Holy Spirit's gentle touch is flowing Jesus we believe Jesus there is healing in your name please lay your hands right now as a prophetic point of contact those following on TV you are following on any of our social media platforms outside connect now by faith connect now by faith every nation every territory we believe in the God that heals whilst you're submitting your prayer requests very quickly please lay your hands there if it's a part of your body you cannot touch just make contact with your chest and I want to pray for you right now I truly believe in the supernatural power of the Holy Spirit I believe in miracles and signs and wonders now watch this please this is what we're going to do this will be very very fast very fast let's walk together I'm going to rebuke that devil and release the power of the Holy Spirit over you the moment I do that I want you to begin to check yourself and I'm going to give you an opportunity for as many who have been touched by God whether you're inside or outside the moment i'm praying some of you whilst you came out here miracles were already happening to you check yourself you find out that a miracle has happened i like you to run come and stand by my left or my right whichever there will be people to just check you and we'll take a few miracles then we'll pray over the request and i prophesy over you and we're done praise the name of the lord now lay your hands there and let's pray this is a house of healing this is a house of miracles in the name of Jesus Christ please shout a loud amen in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I command every devil of infirmity causing pain and discomfort over anyone's body here release them now in the name of Jesus release them in the name of Jesus right now I declare life to your body in the mighty name of Jesus Christ be healed in Jesus name be healed in Jesus name blind eyes be open now if you're here and you're on crutches or you're on wheelchair stand leave that crutch 
and begin to walk now by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus Christ be healed blood conditions all kinds of blood conditions be healed right now the Lord is healing peptic ulcer in the name of Jesus Christ be healed abdominal pains of all sorts be healed in the name of Jesus there's someone you don't hear very well with your left ear check it now the power of God is touching you right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ in the mighty name of Jesus Christ cancer regardless the stage be healed right now I'm seeing at least two two three ladies you have lump on the left side of your breast in Jesus name we command that devil to leave you now in the name of Jesus Christ there's someone the Lord is healing and restoring your sense of smell supernatural restoration in the name of Jesus blood condition this is like leukemia in the name of Jesus I declare a miracle right now by the power of the Holy Spirit joint pains joint pains in the name of Jesus Christ I declare every pain around the joint area be healed now in Jesus name there's someone you had a dream and in that dream it's like someone hit you with a hard object when you came out from that dream you've had pains all over your body till now the power of God is touching you right now following online we minister the power of the Holy Spirit be healed right now be healed right now whether I mention your case or not in the name of Jesus be healed someone with a severe pain around your left your left leg the power of God is touching you right now I'm seeing a miracle happening around your left leg let there be healing in Jesus name the Lord is showing me a woman you woke up from a dream and physically like your hair was cut like removed a portion of it and from that time you've it's been ill health after ill health the Lord is healing you right now someone you're having around your your throat area here you're having severe pain and it's, it's like swelling and discomfort this has been so for a while I minister the life and the power of Jesus be healed now in Jesus name now anyone sick from the crown of your head migraine the Lord is healing several people with migraine be healed right now in the name of Jesus Christ be healed right now in the name of Jesus now those who have been healed from the start of the service and those who are checking themselves now please check yourself very quickly you find out that the power of God has touched you be bold make your way to the front as we celebrate them those from outside if they are coming from outside for healing please allow them come are you celebrating miracles miracles are happening check yourself and make your way to the front right now make your way to the front right now in the name of Jesus Christ koinonia is this the best you can do Jesus is touching people touching people from outside quickly quickly it's in you Lord it's in you Lord we know there's more that's found in you it's in you Lord it's in you Lord we know there's more that's found in you it's in you Lord it's in you There's more that's found in you. It's in you, Lord. Please let's let's take a few testimonies. We may not have time to take so much, but let the people come. Please sit for a few minutes. Whoever is ready, yes, sir. Please help us with the mic very quickly. Let's celebrate a few miracles here. And then go ahead. Yes. The Lord has actually started very fantastic things amongst us. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. 
I've had severe abdominal pain for over a year. Abdominal pain? Yes. And right now? Ulcer, it's gone. Completely gone. Yes, sir. Celebrate Jesus. Place your hand there. In the name of Jesus. Go now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, please. Apostle, partial deafness has just been healed. My left leg. This is the result. That's your... The test result. The test result. They told me I have profound loss to total hearing loss. And Where? I'm hearing Which 25, of the both ears. And right now? Yes, he made mention, he specifically mentioned that of the left ear, and the left ear was the one that had the worst result. And, and right now, it's open. From the back. Give Jesus praise. Sure. Come on. My God. I stretch my hands, and I declare perfection on your ears. It never returns again. In Jesus' name I pray. Yes, please. They've had severe back pain. Back, back pain? Back pain. They For how long, bend. sir? They couldn't bend. Six months now. Six months. My God. Koinonia, are you celebrating miracles? Now they can bend comfortably. Bend. Confident. Check yourself. Any pain? Any pain? Both this, of you. This one of our medical officials, too. Oh. <laughs> you are... <laughs> oh, dear. Beautiful. So now God will heal you and then you get to your work. One of our medical people has been healed too by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Everyone receives in this house. I stretch my hands. Let there be miracles right now. In Jesus' name. There are so many people. Maybe a few of them can come here very quickly. Yes, please. Very quickly. Swelling on the neck disappeared. Swelling. Swelling on the neck. There's How long? Give her the mic. Too. How long? Very quickly. For one week. Here was swelling up. It was swelling. Yes. And it's gone right now. Yes, in the name of Jesus, it never returns again. Don't commonize miracles. This is how God is opening doors in your life too. Swelling, in Jesus' name. Swelling in our throat too. For like six Swelling. Months. Yes. It's not swelling, but this long thing that is inside was touching my tongue and I was feeling uncomfortable. Okay. And now... I'm it's gone completely. I stretch my hands and I declare in the name of Jesus, perfection for you in Jesus' name. Yes, sir. Praise the Lord. I have a problem with my leg. Whenever I sit down for long, when I stand up, I fall weak. The leg just become weak and I just fall down. You fall down? Yes. So, but ever since I came to this service, I'm not conscious of standing up. Like, I feel free now Run. with the leg. Try to jump. Any pain? In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare perfection for you now. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Apostle, since he was a small boy, he's had problems with his chest with breathing. But now? Breathing. Yes, I had problems with the chest. So when I was sitting at the basement, I was not feeling comfortable breathing. So when you say we should put our hands in our chest, yes. so I decided to just put it by as faith. usual. So when I just put my hands, so normally I search for fresh air to breathe. If I go through this way, I see that the place is stuffy. I go to the next place. And right now? Yes, yeah, so I've been breathe, walking around. Breathe in and out. Any pain? No, Any sir. pain? Give no, Jesus sir. praise. We declare it will never return to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. Apostle, growth in the neck for four years. Growth in the neck? Gone. Yes, sir. Since 2017. Since 2017? Yes. I had my a God. dream that someone forced something down my throat. I was struggling. And when I woke up, it has been... Everything like that. that is not the planting of God, it returns back to the devil. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. God bless you. Yes, Apostle, please. A similar experience for one. My mom, she's at home. She has this one on her neck. Then she said to me this message. I should pray for her. Why are you praying? I placed my hand on my neck. I prayed for her. After I finished praying, I called her. I told her, Mom, how is your neck? She told me she's perfectly okay now. Where is she? She's at home. Where is home? She's at Anambra State. Okay All the now. way from Anambra yes, State. Sir. Those following online in the name of Jesus Christ, let there be miracles and breakthroughs for you Amen. by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Yes, please. Apostle, she has had dislocation in her hand. She even came with the bandage, but now dislocation. Is Where is the bandage? Lift it up. It. What couldn't you do before? You couldn't do this. Go ahead. Lift it. Let the devil see both the bandage and your healed hands supernatural miracle come listen brothers and sisters you see let me tell you something here yeah? the working of miracles is a gift and a grace if you don't have it you don't have it if it's there it is there praise the lord but then the side effect in a house that miracles easily happen just like water is that sometimes 
we may commonize the workings of miracles and what God is doing every one of these miracles you see there is a story of tragedy and pain this is deliverance this is healing that God is bringing for them we rejoice with you and we declare you go back home and tell them this is what happens when we come to church God bless you bless you my dear yes please so this has been confirmed by a medical official she had a topic pregnancy she was operated upon and then she has been in severe pain severe she pain she could not even work what's your name now? my dear Bang Jen patience boy and then you have a problem yes. a topic pregnancy yes. she was operated and she's been having pain yes. number one that pain is perfected Amen. number two in the name of Jesus we declare that you will be a joyful mother of children Amen. in Jesus name I pray God bless you. Yes, sir. Apostle, since 2014, he's had moving objects. He feels things moving around him. And now, persecution, sir. Sir? Because of persecution, I came from Meduguri, sir. Because of persecution? Yes. Moving All objects? All over, yes. They want to forsake, they want to kill me, sir. In the name of Jesus yes. Christ, perfection. I stretch my hands right now. Yes. May the power of the Holy Spirit touch you. And in Jesus' name, every demonic thing, I'm seeing you inside a coffin. I declare now as I'm praying for you in the name of Jesus, everything that is a programming of death be delivered from it now. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Yes, please. Pain, several pains. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and I declare over you, all of you with all sorts of pain, let there be healing for you right now. In Jesus' name, God bless you. Yes, sir. Pain from atopic pregnancy, gone. Hallelujah. This issue of pregnancy and this demonic thing, we stand by the God of heaven and we declare, you will not get pregnant and lose it. In the name of Jesus Christ. every spirit that continues to make that you get pregnant and then it doesn't work you give your best you try and it does not work i curse it right now by the power of the holy spirit in the name of jesus my dear be healed by the power of the holy spirit in jesus name yes please very quickly apostle the lord is indeed faithful amen she's had 17 seizures yesterday 17, 17 the mother has the records here she keeps record of these madam talk don't cry just talk quickly one Sir, minute when she turned 12 like I was last year she just started misbehaving she used to have seizure maybe in a minute yes if she's having anything in her hand she will throw it she will naked herself then the thing what? started this year in the school it was not doing her in the school but it began to progress it started in the school the seizures started we were praying so yeah uh, what so happened now are, yesterday because of this miracle service i've been asking god to heal her yesterday i started taking records it, the seizures started around 2 12 20 a.m in the night as i recorded till night what, uh, and what has happened now 17 but today i started to 220 since this service started the last seizure was 5 11. And she's not had any she seizure had it till now. my dear what's yes. your name esther. esther esther i rebuke every spirit that wants to destroy the destiny of this our beautiful daughter seizures in the name of jesus see i'm praying for the daughter and is the mother the power of god is coming on in the name of jesus the son of the living god i decree and declare if it's a pattern within that family we break it now Amen. by the way let me speak over everyone any pattern you have seen recurrent patterns happens to loved ones and is happening to you in the name of jesus christ that pattern comes to an end now that pattern comes to an end now hallelujah please let's just take two two and then two two and then we just you can document the rest and they can have it next week yes very quickly in her body for the past 10 years she said she could literally feel 10 body. years you feel breathing, objects breathing, in your body breathing but immediately you call the case now 
She's completely gone. My dear, it will never return to you again. In the name of Jesus, it will never return to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Be free now, be free forever. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. Yes, please. Mama said in the dream somebody hits her hand here and then she in the physical and then she could not turn the hand. She could not turn her hand. And the Give her the mic quickly. No, no, don't hold it. Just talk, Mama. A woman in the ceremony hit me on my shoulder. When I even came here, sometimes I cannot turn. I have to turn with my whole body. But when I came, my hand was paining me. If you say, raise up your hands for prayers, if I want to raise, my hand will hook me. But now, when you prayed... Come on, Koinonia. Jesus. And then she couldn't see properly. But now, her vision is perfect. I have glaucoma. I have cataract. And I have diabetes rhinopathy. I was not seeing people's face. Hold on, please. Yes, we're listening. After the prayers, if you pray, I'll put my hands on my eyes. And now, I can see people's face. Hmm. She came from Zarias. Uh, Apostle, he knows me very well. He has contributed on my life. I'm not at even I'm Zaria. Not sure. And Mommy Lucille. Okay. Mommy Lavinia. Oh, they are my part goodness. Of, they are part of your members. I used to come for the Mama prayers. Mama God has healed you now. I came Let the devil see it again. Look at this. Are you celebrating with this family? Listen. My brothers and sisters, not all miracles are stage managed. There are real, genuine miracles. May that be your story in Jesus' name. Mama, you are healed now, and we declare you are healed forever. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Confirmed by the medical official, she had breast lump, but it's gone, disappeared. Breast lump. Yes, sir. When you mentioned it. Confirmed. Completely gone. Confirmed by the medical team. Yes, confirmed. In the name of Jesus, celebrate Jesus. Everything that is planted in your life that is not of God, we uproot it right now. In Jesus' name. Yes, sir. Apostle, the three of them have similar cases with their needs. But today, in standard, the Lord healed. How long? The Lord has healed them. Yesterday, I had an last Okay, now I'm free now. Completely. Check yourselves. Check yourselves. Mine was eight months. I fell in a ditch and my bone shifted. And after the massage, if I sit down for too long, I'd feel the pain. So last miracle service, I had my miracle, but I was too shy to come out. But this miracle service, and when you talked about kneecap, I just keyed into it and the pain is gone. In the name of Jesus, we declare perfection by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. Apostle, this is amazing. I think it's better we hear from her. Yes, go ahead. Don't hold it. Just speak, my dear. Okay, so um, I, have been, I had a baby in April, and since I had the baby, I've been feeling unsettled in my brain. I knew something was not right. So on Friday, I went to do a brain MRI, and it turns out that I have a mast that is resting on my optic nerve. You had a mast? It, they called it between... Let doctor talk. Explain it for us. Just one minute, very quickly. It's a pituitary tumor. Yeah, so it sits on the optic nerve, which is responsible for vision. So that's why she's been having the blurring of vision. And then it's also responsible for production of hormones that regulates the body. So that's why she's been having the um, upset in the hormones. Because I, was, I had a baby and I, I wasn't able to breastfeed my baby because, um, because of this. My prolactin levels were okay. very low, even lower than the average female. So what happened now? So while the administration was going on, I, well, after the prayer, I just felt that everywhere was suddenly clear. Like I could see clearly. And Hallelujah. I felt like a fresh breeze from, yes. the, from my head to the sole Upon of my you. feet. And I, I, don't, I don't know what that is. I was sitting down. I was telling my neighbor that I don't know if I should come outside. But I just decided to come out. Don't cry. Don't cry. Jesus is Lord. I stretch my hands towards you, my dear. I declare perfection 
you go to the hospital have a thorough test you will come and stand here and testify before god's people every demon every mast anywhere around your body your face we declare it gives way now in the mighty and the matchless name of jesus christ yes please so pile for six years pile I've just been here. yeah in, i'm having pile for six years now but today i believe that god has healed me because, completely uh, yes and also yesterday i did a test of hepatitis b but trusting god that this my coming to this point now i'm healed yes. in jesus name in the name of jesus healing for you the last the last one or two please and then we'll just pray generally Majority of them pain in all the of them the pain back, in the name reflects, of Jesus Christ healed. for all of you who are here remaining by the power of the Holy Spirit and those who are going we apologize for the sake of time we may not be able to take the testimonies we do not downplay the testimonies but in the name of Jesus your healings remain permanent by the power of the Holy Spirit the same hand that healed you will preserve you and keep you healed in Jesus name please rise up on your feet stretch your hands here rise up on your feet stretch your hands even as we speak we have a covenant of answered prayer from scripture and then with god in this house in one minute now listen let me tell you this in my opinion is one of the most powerful part of the miracle service because this is the most accurate representation of our desires we may not be able to prophesy because of time and because we see in part but everyone's expectation is here world over i like you to release your faith in one minute and begin to make declarations as i pray that these egyptians you see today you will see them no more forever go ahead and pray in the name of jesus Jesus, who is the son of the living God, I bow my knees to the father of our Lord and I declare right now that every request that is represented here by the power that raised Christ from the dead, we turn it into a... Hello, scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, my son, attend to my sins, incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed. And then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos. We have loads of content that is going to make you blessed. That is going to set you on course. That is going to set you ablaze. And don't forget to like for us. 
Thank you.